Hello, this is Summer Guy in Hawaii, and this is a quick look at how base weapon damage is scaled according to elemental damage type. Some people already know what I'm talking about. This is for the ones who don't. In brief, the underlying base damage of any weapon that comes in more than one elemental type, including non-elemental, is scaled. Okay, Non-elemental is highest, followed by cryo, then fire, shock, and corrosion together with radiation having the lowest damage. Now, if we get two identical variants of the same gun, same level, all the same parts, and the only difference is the elemental damage type, there will be a difference in the listed damage, and this is why. This is specifically designed into the game. Okay, This means that if a weapon comes in multiple elemental to include non-elemental variants, the highest possible listed damage at any given level will be on the non-elemental one. Cryo, if available, will be maxed out at 15% less than that. Fire and or corrosion and or shock will be 20% below the non-elemental value. Radiation, if available, will be 25% below the non-elemental one. These ratios also hold for weapons that only spawn in select elements. Okay, Here are a few examples that demonstrate this. In each example, I take the listed damage and then factor out the modifiers to damage from various parts to get the underlying base damage figure. Uh, this boomer is a simple example. It only comes in fire and non-elemental. If I factor out the damage modifying parts, the grip and the rail, what's left is the underlying base damage. And the fire variance damage is 20% less than the non-elemental. Here we do the same thing for several examples of the hyperfocus, which comes in all elements, including non-elemental. You can see the base damage as a percentage of the highest example, non-elemental, over on the far right. Okay. Lastly, three examples of the chaos assault rifle, which only comes in cryo, corrosion, and shock. Cryo has the highest base damage, with corrosion and shock about 6% below that. There's no non-elemental variant to compare with, but if there were, the ratios hold up. Now, there are some exceptions to this rule. Most Molly 1 guns come with two elements, and their damage is weighted equally, obviously. Okay. Additionally, though, the Kibsworth, the SF Force, and the Voss Death Grip are all single element Molly 1 weapons that come in four separate elements. Okay. And I, I have not had a chance to really look into these weapons. I don't have enough examples uh, to see if the rule applies or not. But I can't assume that it does because of the Jacobs, Kings, and Queens Call pistols. Now these come in all five elements, and for some unknown reason, the devs decide to give all of them the same base damage. Don't ask me why. So maybe there are other exceptions to this rule. If you run across any, let me know. In any case, why is this important? Okay. Well, one of the most frequently asked questions on social media is, what's the highest damage figure? we've seen on a particular weapon. Okay, So let's say we've got a radiation variant of a gun that does 7500 damage. And we see a post of a non-elemental one that does 10k. We see that and think, hey, I can get a better damage radiation one, one that does 10k. I'm going to go farm for it. Well, the non-elemental one might do more damage because of better parts, or it could be because it's non-elemental. It could be that the damage listed on our radiation one is as high as it gets, in which case we'd be wasting our time farming for a better one. Okay, We need to be aware of this mechanic, check the parts, and dig a little deeper. There are also a number of builds out there that specialize in using non-elemental weapons. This is not to say that these builds are completely non-elemental. Skills, anointments, and other gear supply elemental damage. The strategy is to apply those elements on top of, or as a percentage of, higher non-elemental base damage figures. Non-elemental builds are a potentially deep and intricate rabbit hole we are not going to go down at this time. Okay, It is though something I want to mess with at some point. I thought it important we at least address the issue. Bottom line for most people though, understand that this mechanic is in the game and act accordingly when comparing damage types and damage maximums with various weapons. And there you go. I can too do a short video. Thanks for watching.